Hey everybody, how everybody's doing today? I am the mobile cooking teacher and I am here on a Valentine's Day dinner for Queen Memorial Library. So hello everyone at Queen Memorial Library. Thank you for tuning in. So right now we are on my site at, this is YouTube. So please make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification button so you know when the next time that I'm going to be on, I'm waiting for you. So with that, we're going to get started. So it's Valentine's Day. What are you doing with your loved ones? If you have sons and daughters, are you doing something special for them? Are you going to let them cook dinner for you? Or are y'all going to cook dinner together? I just need to know. So in the comment box, hey, put down, tell me what you did for Valentine's Day this year to make it real special. Because now <clears throat> that we're on this pandemic, how did you make everything special for you and your sons and daughters? Because they couldn't, um, excuse me. <coughs> Thank you. Excuse me. They couldn't go to like have that Valentine's Day squat, you know, squat at school. You know, everybody go buy the candy. And, you know, when you come home, your your best friend or somebody you like gave you candy in a car. And this year we didn't really couldn't do that because of social distance. So what did y'all do inside your homes to make everything special for your sons and daughters? So for now, I want to do this special meal. I call it surf and turf, but I did it in a different way because I have lobster and crab raviolis. I have some chopped up salmon that I cook, some raw onions, hibble my beef, and then I have some vegetables right here that I, all I did was dip this in water and steamed it took it out, salt and pepper. That was it, nothing special. And these flowers right here, these was from my job. So I just want to display them, let them know, you know, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much at my job. And plus it looked cute right here on my display. So we're going to start, we have cheese, we have butter, and we're going to start. So with that, turn on my pot. I'm going to put my pot on medium. Right? So I am home with my sons and daughters. And right now, we're going to saute up some onions. And then I'm going to make a root because I'm going to make a cream sauce to go with my raviolis. I'm telling you, something good to do. So, but if you're allergic to seafood, just get the regular ones. These, my aunt had bought these for me. We went to the store and I was in love with these. And she saw me when I did this with one of my other uh, demos. So she was she was uh, hooked just from that. So I just cooked a half of an onion. If you hear noise, that's just my sons and daughters going in and out the house. To let you know, like, this is really live in my kitchen. And we're going to saute this up. And remember with butter, butter burns. So make sure that you watch the butter, watch your heat. But I'm using butter because I'm not using heavy cream. So this is going to be like a real light sauce. So we got to add flavor to this to make it taste good. You know, we you know always want to have something that tastes good. But, you know, heavy cream is the bomb. So I don't have heavy cream. We're going to have to make this taste lovely. So, like I said, what did you cook with your sons and daughters? If you didn't do anything, I understand. Um, it would be nice if you did start letting your sons and daughters participate inside the kitchen with you. Real easy things that they can do, like cut up, cut up an onion. Let them cry. Hey, you know, hey, they got to learn, right? So let them cry. Show them how to cut up an onion. A great thing you could do when you start teaching your sons and daughters how to cook, let them cut up a, um, a potato because it's nice and hard to steady. And you can start showing them how to make a dice cut, a julienne cut, you know, stuff like that so it can go. And guess what? With the potatoes, you can make home fries. Hey, you got a meal right there. Long day practicing. So I have my... Onions got a nice, my house is smelling real good with these onions. 
So now, I'm gonna start making my roux. Now everybody know, if you don't know, a roux is just fat. Butter was my fat with flour. That's it. That's all what a roux is. And we want to mix this all around. And we want to let this cook off. And we want to let this cook. I'm going to turn my flame down just a little. There we go. Just a little. Now when I'm doing this, I have a a chicken cube and I end up putting half of this in here because I want the flavor. I want some flavor. Right? Got to get some flavors in here. So I got my flavor going on. I have some milk. I'm ready to put some milk in here. I went the wrong way. I have some milk, so now I'm ready to start putting my milk in here. And now we're going to start making our sauce. So what we're going to do now is start whisking, got to whisk, start whisking the, the flour so it can become smooth. And remember that it's going to, it's going to thicken up. It's going to thicken up. So that was one. Eight ounces of milk that I use. I'm ready to put another one in. And you notice that I'm still whisking. This is something that you can get your sons and daughters to do, you know, on, on the whisk part. So that was, then you can get them to add eight and eight is what? 16. 16 is what? How many cups? Hey, look at that math coming in. Look at that math coming in. All right. So now, I just want to make sure I got all the lumps out. We're going to let this come to a boil. Because I want to see, start letting my flour start cooking and it's going to get thick. So we're going to have that come to a boil. And when that comes to a good boil, guess what I'm going to add in? I'm going to add my salmon in. I'm ready to start putting some onion powder, garlic powder in there for some more flavor. This right here. Just a little. That's my little right there. Make sure when you're working with your sons and daughters and y'all open up spices, make sure they close them again. Because, you know, when you're in the kitchen, everything starts going on, you know, stuff can spill. Stuff can happen. So make sure that you close all your spices or anything that's liquid. Keep your area clean. And that's, you know, good way to start teaching your sons and daughters that. So we got that going on. So it's smelling good over here. I got some farm cheese. You could have used Gouda cheese. You could have used any type of cheese you want. I'm going to just sprinkle just a little. Not a lot. It's up to y'all. When you get... I'm going to sprinkle just a little in here. That's my little. That's my little. What's this up? It's good to have some fresh parsley. Because what, what could you do with that fresh parsley? Mm -mm. Yes. Do with that green effect that you need on top of your food. And fresh parsley is actually it's good in food. Look at that. My cheese is getting. 
I got a nice little cheese sauce. Because this is all this is, is a nice little cheese sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put my salmon in here. My little chunks of salmon. I don't know how to do it. Something different. And this is a nice meal you could do with you and your hubby. You know, when you're by yourself or get your sons and daughters to make it and then they can serve it for you in a nice special occasion. Oh, that just come to a boil. It smells awesome in here. You see that white sauce? Then I'm going to show you how you know a white sauce is done. Let that, that come to a boil. I got my plate right here. Boom, nice, nice little plate I got. Do you know that the dollar store have plates like this? White plates, better get hit with a dollar store plate right here. A nice little white plate, you can get fancy. So the next time you go to the dollar store, you and your family, y'all can go and everybody get a white plate. So when you acting like you're dining out with your sons and daughters, let them, you know, act like a waitress and stuff and just have some fun with them. I bet you they will love that. You know, let them learn how about tips and just get them ready for when, when we open back up again. They know how to treat the server. They know how to go out and eat dinner because y'all practice at home. Something to think about. So I'm going to try this sauce right here. Let me see if it's done. So I took the back of my spoon, right? It's coated. Mmm. Nice sauce. Right here, you can tell that it's done because look at that. You see the, the coat? Mmm. Mmm. So imagine when I had, if I use heavy cream. Mmm. Then I could have put another little drop of, uh, I'm going to put some pepper. Just a little. I think my neighbor's going to love this. Just a little bit of salt. But if I would have used heavy cream, y'all, all that good with that heavy cream, mm, I'm going to start putting my raviolis in so they can get warmed up again. Look at this. This looks good. So this is going to be one of the best Valentine's Day ever. Put my sauce. Now you can put your sauce on low so it can simmer. So it can just cook on low. You know, because you don't want to burn your sauce. You know, because that's what's going on, right? You don't want to burn your sauce. All right, so we have that. I have my beef right here. I'm going to put, put two pieces of beef on my plate. I cooked them in my George Former grill right here. I love it. I got that for Christmas from my daughter. Best thing ever. Like I tell y'all, listen, pull out all your gadgets and start using them. You'll never got to turn in your stove and oven again. I have a toaster oven right here. I don't turn on my oven. For what? What's the use of turning on your oven when you got your... Toaster. Cook everything in that toaster. So, so you don't need to turn on your oven. No more. Cinnamon buns. I do so much in it. Macaroni and cheese. I make a cake. Make cupcakes. Cookies. Listen. So, toaster oven. Pizza. Best way to go. And they got so many of them out here now. Listen. So this is looking good. I like this. Can't wait to share with my neighbor and my brother. But this is awesome. This is good. So here we go. So we have that. And I'm ready to plate it up. I want y'all to see it. So I turned my fire off. It was off today. I'm going to take a picture and make sure that y'all be able to see it. I have some. It ain't the same. 
But I have some parsley flakes. It's not the same. It's not as bright. So here we go. I'm gonna put the one lot red leaf on the plate. Two. I'm not a plater. Three. I know everything say everything looks good in three, so I'm gonna put three. And another thing, and this is something good you can teach your sons and daughters how to plate. They can learn how to plate up meals. You know, and guess what? We're done. Look at that. In 15 minutes, we're done. Because half of the stuff is already you already make. You are is already, you know, did up. So really this meal may take maybe 45 minutes because you gotta cook the pasta. Cook the, cut the vegetables, cook the vegetables up, cook the beef, and stuff like that. But here you go. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. So I'm going to take a picture of this and make sure that you, you know what? I'm going to just do it right in front of y'all. To make sure, let's just do it right in front of y'all. So y'all know that y'all ready to see this picture. I'm just out the way. And another thing you can do to, to finish off the meal, I got this parm cheese right here. Put some parm cheese on top. Look at that. Now I'm really going to take a picture now. This looks awesome. This is my dinner for tonight. This is my neighbor dinner for the night. She just don't know that yet. And my brother dinner for tomorrow. So with that, I will talk to y'all later. Thank y'all. Please subscribe. Please let parents know that we are here at Queen Memorial Library doing live demos, trying to sh trying, trying. We are doing showing parents how to when it's a good time to start cooking with your sons and daughters. When it's a good time to have your sons and daughters inside the kitchen, sweeping the floor, mopping the floor, wiping the table off, doing the dishes, cooking the egg. Making pancakes. You know breakfast is the easiest meal to cook. Start teaching them so they can get familiar inside the kitchen. So they can start cooking. So guess what? You passing the baton. It's always good to start passing that baton. So you can stop cooking and they can start cooking. Yes, that's what we that's 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 what we that's what we was here for as parents. So please make sure you stay tuned. We have a lot more coming to y'all that I think you're going to love. I'm going to do a knife presentation. I'm going to do a knife presentation showing you the knife cut skills you can do with your sons and daughters using, you know, if you're scared, use a butter knife or use a small little knife, a little steak knife. But just getting them familiar with touching the tools that's around the house, I know your sons and daughters will love it. So with all that, I will talk to y'all later. Thanks, Queen Memorial, for letting me share here on your site. Thank you so much, and I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.